Billy Graham is quite possibly the greatest preacher of the 20th century, if not ever. It's estimated that 2 billion people heard him preach. He had another 2 million people that responded to his invitation to become a Christian. Now, how often do we hear of how important it is that we believe in a 6,000 year old earth and literal interpretation of Genesis? They say doing otherwise hinders the gospel. Naturally, we must ask, what did the greatest preacher of the gospel think of the Genesis debate? So considering we're talking about what might be one of the greatest preachers of all time, we might need to dress the part a little bit. Now we're ready. While we don't have a book written by Billy Graham or a video of him speaking his thoughts on the topic, many have written about their experiences of talking to the great Billy Graham. The British journalist David Frost interviewed Billy Graham and relayed the information in his book, Billy Graham, Candid Conversations with a Public Man. In it, he says, One of the first times we met, I wanted to know how Billy Graham interpreted the Bible. Are you a Bible literalist? And what about evolution versus creationism? Graham said, I don't think anyone is really a literalist. When Jesus gave the parable of the rich man that had died and gone to hell and the poor man that had gone to heaven, he said that he went to Abraham's bosom. Now that didn't mean that he literally climbed down into Abraham's bosom. So no one really is a complete literalist in the Bible. We know when we read the Bible, our common sense tells us. But I mean, what do you, do you view, for instance, the creation of the world as it's shown in the Bible as a parable and at the same time accept scientific suggestions about the world? Oh, I don't think there's any conflict at all between science today and the scriptures. I think that we have misinterpreted the scriptures many times and we've tried to make the scriptures say things that weren't meant to say. And I think we have made a mistake by thinking that the Bible is a scientific book. The Bible is not a book of science. The Bible is a book of redemption and, of course, I accept the creation story. I believe he created man and whether it came by an evolutionary process and at a certain point he took this person or this being and made him a living soul or not does not change the fact that God did create man. Notice how Billy Graham doesn't say no to Frost's question. He never says, yes, I'm an evolutionist or Yes, I believe the world is billions of years old. The scientific consensus at the time of this interview said the world is billions of years old. Graham didn't deny it when directly asked about it and then affirms that he doesn't think there's a conflict between science today and the Bible. One might say maybe he was referring to science in general and not mainstream scientific views as the science actually points to a young earth. I don't think this is a correct interpretation of what he was saying because young earth creationists that take this position usually make it clear to distinguish between what mainstream science says and what they think science says. Let's continue their conversation and see if anything else might help. But the fact remains, doesn't it, Mr. Graham, that what you're saying you are, in fact, in one way or another, modifying the Bible a bit and looking at it through your own understanding. Now, if you modify that story or one or two or the others that you've mentioned, how do you decide what to stop modifying? I didn't modify because I didn't finish. I personally believe that it's just as easy to accept the fact that God took some dust and blew on it and out came a man as it is to accept the fact that God breathed upon man and he became a living soul and it started with some protoplasm and went right up through the evolutionary process. Either way is by faith and whichever way God did it makes no difference as to what man is and man's relationship to God. Frost then changes the subject by pointing out a common objection to Christianity about Old testament law so it's not really worth dealing with here so while he doesn't affirm evolution or the belief in an all earth he doesn't deny it not only that but for someone that said he didn't have any doubts about christianity he said it's as easy to accept what the bible says about the man's creation as it is to accept evolution i think it's possible to realize that if he says something like evolution is true that he will be alienating a big portion of his audience to be quite frank, there is a considerate amount of people out there that will completely disregard everything that you have to say if you tell them that you believe what mainstream science says. While I think it's possible, another reason he might have answered the way he did was because he wanted to keep the focus on the gospel. He always focused on the gospel. He wanted to make the point that science shouldn't be a reason to reject Christianity and therefore wasn't concerned about answering specific scientific questions. In a different conversation, Frost asked, what's the nearest thing to proof that God exists? Graham said, the birth of a baby. I watched my youngest son being born and the doctor that was delivering the baby looked up at me and he said, how can anyone see this without realizing there is a God? He said, only God could bring all of this about. 
all the preparation, the conception, the gestation, everything that goes into making a baby. And then how everything in the woman's body and the man's body is correlated to bring together the birth of a child? Man couldn't do that. Evolution could have never come to that point. And to me, it's a very obvious thing that there must be a God. There is a God. Well, this sure confused things. One might think just based on this quote that, oh, he's not an evolutionist. But I'm not so sure. The reason I think this is probably isn't the case is because he already said he believes there's no conflict between what the science of today says and the Bible. He also implied that it's easy to accept evolution. The key quote for me is, evolution could not have come to that point. But it is in the context of believing in God. It's almost as if he was implying evolution can never have come to the point of a childbirth unless there was a god in charge of it all. So was Billy Graham an evolutionist and an old earther? Yes, probably, maybe? He wasn't terribly clear. What he was clear about is that he thinks that nobody reads the Bible literally and that he has no issue with believing in an old earth evolution in the Bible. Now, for someone that gave the gospel and therefore led millions of people to Christ, quite possibly the greatest preacher ever, and yet he had no issue with believing in modern science in the Bible, I think that might be quite telling for how we should view the Genesis debate. I don't know what Billy Graham's specific views were of the creation of the world, but I personally have many friends that are pastors, Bible teachers, scholars, people that have given their life to studying the book of Genesis in a way that glorifies and leads people to Christ. And yet, they, like Billy Graham, also have no issue with the Bible and science. If you want to know more about what they think, subscribe to my channel. Check out my playlist on the Genesis Evolution Debate.